What's up everyone, for the win Tachi here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Hearthside Chat, the Dalaran Heist, High Jinx, Rise of Shadows. So without further ado, let's get to it. These are usually Greetings long, so well sit back and relax. My name here. is Giovanni Scarpati, and I'm the designer on the Hearthstone team. You've been battling in the magic city of Dalaran for some time now. Whether dabbling with the dastardly I haven't yet, deeds of the but I will be. Evil, or protecting the proud patrons and people of this prestidigitageous population. As I will be. Dalaran. But what exactly is the League of Evil up to? Just stay tuned, team. You may ask, is stay tuned. robbing the bank of goods and precious artifacts? Is Hagatha unleashing the denizens of the Violet Hole to distract the guards? Is Dr. Boom looking to strap rockets on the bottom of the floating city and go for a joyride? To which I say, those are some well-educated guesses. The League of Evil is up to no good. <clears throat> All your guesses are correct. They'll be ransacking, reassembling, and robbing in the Dalaran Heist. Yeet. So, what is it? The Dalaran Heist follows the same core format as the Dungeon Run and Monster Hunter, <clears throat> but is loaded with new features and content. This time, you'll be taken to the streets as one of nine henchmen in the League of Evil, challenging a series of proud defenders of Dalaran who stand in the way of you and your job. In this solo adventure, it all starts with chapters in the book. Each chapter, a different location with a different- I saw five story. chapters. When we said we wanted to tell the story of Rise of Shadows, the UI and art team hmm. took us seriously. I thought Each it was only chapter four. holds some unique bosses, as well as a unique rule that's present throughout the course of the run. For example, the Violet Hold has imprisoned minions that join later in the fight, while the sewers swap the attack and health of all minions. Drafting feels very different when that Calicos you're about to pick will be a 10 mana 12-4. As a henchman in the League of Evil, you'll gain access to a loadout system to customize your start. These hero powers and decks will be locked at first, but can be unlocked by completing various This is cool. Games, like draw 100 cards. Again, freeze I will be minutes. doing it. Stay tuned. This was one of the most requested features and the first one we worked on. We loved the idea of unique hero powers like those in the Monster Hunt, but we wanted them to feel like alternative ways to play as opposed to something that defined our new henchman. Being evil means being flexible, after all. For example, Rock and Isha the Mage will have Burning Wit and Frostburn as alternative hero powers, with both drawing from existing mage spell effects. Burning Wit reduces the cost of a card in your hand, while Frostburn freezes a character, or deals two damage if it's already frozen. Job's done. You'll also be able to unlock new starting decks. Each has its own combination of themes and helps you start out in a different direction but it's still up to you to adapt with your choices. Every class also has a random deck, which has been a favorite among many roguelike players on our team. And don't worry, we make sure you start out with a decent curve. Oh, and as a side note, we'll be tracking your victories on all of these, per hero, per location, per hero power, and per deck. That's a lot of tracking. The Dalaran Heist also marks the introduction of some new deck building features in the form of non-combat encounters. As you play through the solo adventure, you'll be able to take breaks to visit various taverns in Dalaran. In here, you'll be given a random assortment of special cards that allow you to manipulate the cards in your deck for the rest of the run. Rakanisu, the scamp from the left. You always brighten my day. Started with a Murloc Tidehunter in your deck? Dismiss him. Get him out of here. See a juicy looking Ragnaros on the other side of the table? Recruit him to join the side of evil. Thankfully, the tavern keepers in Dalaran don't mind too much where the coin's coming from. It's just good business. Deck manipulation was this another is, highly requested they, they job with this game. to bring in. The number of outrageous stories it's already generating amongst the team is just awesome, and I can't wait to see what you'll come up with. Once you've unlocked every chapter, you'll gain access to a new mode we're calling Anomaly Mode. This mode is for players who want to add a little extra spice to their gameplay in the form of a random rule set, ranging from tame <clears throat> but odd to almost tavern brawling. The rules swap after each run, so if you see an anomaly that isn't quite to your playstyle, you can always check in again next run. For example, the anomaly Wild Magic causes spells for both players to cast an additional time at a random target. While the anomaly Glittering has both players... So a tavern brawl, Dalaran heist. You can't get away. You're mine. Interesting. We've also brought back two familiar difficulty modes, Normal and Heroic. 
Relic will be available after completing the corresponding chapter on normal. You should expect it to be pretty rough. The first should, yeah. chapter will be available for free with the launch of the Dalaran Heist. In it, you'll be taking on the fiery role of Rakanishi, the mischievous fire elemental who lives in King Togwaggle's lantern, as you work your way into the banks of Dalaran to plunder precious gold and artifacts. Once you've gotten to experience the vainglory of villainy, chapter two of this adventure, The Violet Hold, is available for purchase right away. The next three chapters will be released over the following weeks. It's almost showtime for the arch villain Rafam and his band of irredeemable rapscallions. So I'm going to close the book on the League of Evil for now. The Dalaran heist needs all the help it can get, starting next week. Well, that is looking absolutely fantastic. They're doing a great job with uh, Overwatch, especially those that have recently taken over. Uh, it's not as jokey or meme -y as it used to be, and I'm starting to enjoy that. So thank you all very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for Dalaran Heist gameplay. Peace out.